Look, I am saying that you were not just hurting them, you were hurting me and Keith. And for what? Are you telling me what, you're gonna stay together forever? Oh God, would you stop it? That is so grotesque. Grotesque? Oh, well, we don't wanna be that. <laughs> oh. What's going to happen when you have a fight, hmm? You know what you're gonna do, I mean, Look, I know what you're doing with your feet under there, and I really don't appreciate it. Oh, honey, I thought you wanted us to get along. <laughs> Hold a civil conversation, yes. Flaunt some perverse affair. No. Flaunt? Well, who's flaunting? I mean, we haven't exactly been swinging from the chandeliers. We went through a lot of trouble to disappear. I think it's very rude of you to come and dig us up like this. They got a point. Whose side are you on? This. I mean, what are your plans, hmm? Run away? Become fugitives? Well, we really uh, don't have any plans. Yeah, if we make them, they might not work out. Exactly. Mm. Oh, excuse me for thinking that uh, occasionally people should think through and say and things before they do them. But then again, if you had ever done that in your lives, maybe I wouldn't be illegitimate. Honey, that was the 70s. That is no excuse. Alan and Rowena are in shreds. I, I, I just don't know how you can do this to them. These are people that you have lived with for 14 years. Have you no human feeling? We know what you're saying is heartfelt, valid, and mature. And to be honest, it's making us feel ashamed of ourselves. But? No buts. If you'll come upstairs with us now and help us back. Too? Yeah, okay. 